He's not known for brutally eviscerating things and, like, killing gods and, like, destroying the planet. No. Nah. Known for running away like a giant wimp. Question is now, yeah, there's two... Th two... Two spike ceilings. So if I... Oh, I mistimed that a little bit. I think I have to sync these up or something. <clears throat> okay, so the third one does drop. That's what I wanted to test. <clears throat> so if I sync up the first one and the second one, I should be able to... Wait a minute. Right, so that's the second grating in the floor, right? So if I walk right here, don't take your axe back, you fucking stupid idiot. Yeah, now we're fine. And then my boy comes through and then I pull the axe back right when he's in the middle. And then I can like hang him up a flagpole and then like I'll have a little wind chime when the wind blows. Bracers of the World Serpent, that sounds pretty sick. Wait, what? Alright, so I carry that with me? <clears throat> but I must have to do something over here first. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Alright, this is pretty self-explanatory, actually. So I just gotta take this, throw it at the floor, have my boy destroy the floor, right? Oh. I like how I said it was self-explanatory and then, uh... Oh, never mind, it didn't get crushed, it's still there. Alright. And then the floor blows up, the thing falls through. Now what? Does it come back up? Yeah, it comes back up. I had a feeling it would. Wait, so if it comes up, do I die? <clears throat> or do I need to, like, ride it upward? <clears throat> I have to ride it upward. Yeah, that doesn't look scary at all. Nope. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So it's just gonna be like a run it, gun it kind of thing, huh? Oh, God. This is kind of horrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Woo! I can't believe, we're so close. I, can't believe I almost became a fucking Kratos sandwich. Damn. I thought I was gonna regret the decision to, like, roll down into the deathly spiky trap, but I guess not. We're fine. Leave them in peace. Obviously <clears throat> not referring to us. Yeah, clearly not. Hence the giant saw blades and the spike traps and all the things that say maybe we shouldn't be here, like maybe we should turn around, fuck off, go back home. Fuck pissing off all of Asgard, fuck killing Baldur, let's just go back. Let's go have ourselves a wee rest, a little bit. Maybe we can hit up McDonald's or Chuck E. Cheese after that to reward all our hard work. Oh, two of you idiots? Bring it on, dude. I don't get two shits. Nice job, loser. Nice job, loser. Nice job, loser. You actually ever gonna hit me this year? Now that I've said that, he's gonna, like, beat the shit out of me, huh? No, maybe not. Maybe they just suck ass. Get him, Atreus. Sick him, boy. Nah. Nah. Don't play that shit. I don't need a Makiri counter for your dumbass idiot. I'm gonna say, this is like the weirdest Truxican standoff I've ever seen. Is this guy such a pussy that he has to be a turtle from the back as well? Come on, dude. Get the shit out of here. Oh yeah, that looks safe, doesn't it? That looks super inviting. Oh! Hello. Alright, he's dead. What about you idiots? Oh, good shit. You thought of my strat before I did. Damn. Oh, I hit him in the knee. Good shit. Good job, Kratos. Alright, now what? 
Okay, well. Obviously, my goal is to freeze the middle one, right? <coughs> Alright. <coughs> Sorry about the cough. I know, it's probably really fucking annoying. It's annoying for me, too. Bitch! Think I was gonna take that shit from a noob like you? Hell nah. I didn't even know you were there and you still got parried. Whose bright idea was it to put a whole bunch of frosty dudes in a room that spits fire? Nice. Ooh, shit. I was right in target with that. Ow! Keep your deadly frost shit to yourself, please. Although I'm more worried about the fire, to be honest. What is this, another traveler idiot? No, way too weak to be a traveler. That's just a hammer, dude. Yeah, go back to Mario Brothers, dickhead. Maybe I shouldn't be fighting the ice dudes with my axe that's like made of ice. Probably not the smartest yes, idea I've ever had. Time to flip the temple. Yes, sir. He says that super casually, like it's an everyday thing. It's to sound normal. How many spikes are they gonna put in this goddamn game, dude? Hey, Frongol, how's it going? <coughs> hey, staunchy shit, I nearly missed you as well. I'm sorry about that. Like, I'm trying to, like, manage the cough and, like, be an idiot and talk to people at the same time. It's a lot of multitasking. That didn't sink them, did it? Okay, I can't see that frosty thing from here. So there doesn't seem to be a third one, so I should just have to freeze the first one, wait for the second one to go up, and then run underneath the second one. Should be pretty simple. Yep, easy peasy. And now we go back up, and now we flip the temple, and we fight the two big, angry, scary dudes. Wait, why is this locked? I feel like that shouldn't be locked. Your HP and rage are so big, I had less than half your HP. Well, that doesn't seem to be the issue. I mean, you know, spikes and death traps and shit, that's a big issue, but... Wait, so how do we flip the temple? We have to go back up, right? So what the fuck? I'm super confused. Or do we have to go back up on a different lift? Maybe that's what it is. <coughs> there doesn't seem to be a different elevator, so I don't know what the fuck I have to do. <coughs> Sorry, give me a minute. I'm really sorry about the cough. Ah, that's a little better. I'm seriously sorry about that. Hopefully it should be gone in a few days. I just I want to get this fucking game done. Uh, yeah, it's still locked, so I have no idea. An army of <clears throat> statues. I don't think they're the kind that come to life. Oh, did I have to come over here and like look at this to Dear be able to do it? That in the world of PC Weird. All right. The only soldiers he need would be statues. Bless his heart, but the bugger. No work for six weeks, so you get to watch these days time streamers. That's pretty sick. <clears throat> Luckily that you have no work. Now you can sit here and spend time with me and watch me play this game worse than you ever thought you possibly Brothers, could. I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't. <coughs> <I remember. coughs> Had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept yeah, I have a cough ban incoming. Yeah. The world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working a bunch of angry together. Christian moms. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door You're gonna be like, you have story. demons. We're on tears back. And a freaking Baphomet on your profile. Sorry, we're gonna have to ban you for coughing, says Twitch. Sorry, I don't generate you too much money, Jeff Bezos. Be Not like he needs anymore. 
He can kick back with his margarita maker on his jet skis at his vacation house. <clears throat> Not identifying an issue, huh? Just an observation as a viewer? Yeah, I had a lot more XP and, like, a lot more health and a lot more, like, rage upgrades and shit. Although I do make it a point to not use the rage too much. That is a plus. Somehow I managed to get through here without getting us killed, imagine that. Yeah, that doesn't scream bad omen at all. Whenever you walk somewhere and you see heads on pikes, that's your cue to leave. That's your cue to pack your shit up and fucking get out. Kinda like Han Cannibal Holocaust. If you've seen Cannibal Holocaust, you know exactly what the hell I'm talking about. From the title of the movie, you can probably infer what happened to a whole bunch of unsuspecting people. And you know why it happened? <clears throat> it's because they saw the heads on the pikes and they didn't fuck off. That's exactly why. Fighting that cough dude take a few minute break? Nah, it's totally fine. <clears throat> it's just like I said, when I cough, or like, when I talk, it aggravates it more. Kind of. But I kinda have to, that's kinda my job. It's what I'm supposed to do. That's why I'm on this platform. <clears throat> Hello? Are you too angry that I flipped the big temple? Hmm? What if I hit you in the leg? No? Not angry? Alright. So now that I flipped the fucking temple, what do I do? There doesn't appear to be anywhere to go, so I don't know what the game wants. I tried going left and I tried going right. There doesn't seem to be anywhere to go, so I don't know what they want me to do. Am I dumb? I might be dumb. Am I dumb? Probably dumb. No? What? I am super confused. Climb up? <clears throat> climb up where? Oh, you know what? Now that you mention it, I do remember having to climb up somewhere, but I don't remember where. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> There's this, too. Wait, what happens if we hit the crystal in the middle? But something's not right. Wait, what? Oh, I just gotta, like, match him up by spinning the thing. Is that what it is? <clears throat> what? What? Go home, God of War. You're more drunk than I've ever been. Nice. There's a crack you can climb on the temple? Alright, high five for Ongle. Good shit. I remember climbing, I just didn't remember where. Wait, so what does that do for me? <clears throat> or can I just climb up here? Oh, I can just climb up here. Alright. There wasn't an indication, so I didn't know I could. I thought that was, like, off-limits. What if you put the heads there? Then I'm very concerned for my well-being and everybody else in this chat. Because obviously you're a psychopath. And I'm surprised you haven't been arrested yet, but now that you've publicly drawn attention to yourself, I'm sure the police are on their way to your house right now, Frongle. <clears throat> Alright, Pauldrons of the World Serpent, nice. So we have the whole World Serpent set, but I didn't read any of it, so I don't know what it's good for. Atreus, to me. <clears throat> I'm coming, I'm coming. See that, Mimir? Nobody could do all this alone. All these obstacles. Wrong! Just chances you didn't help. Mimir didn't help. That was all me, argue. dick. Me and father. I did it completely by myself. You did nothing. You stood there and looked cute, as usual. We all work together. <clears throat> we do make a good team. What, you think I can't kill, like, six peons by myself, dude? Do you know what game series Kratos comes from? Are you kidding me? This whole dude's career is built upon killing peons. It's what he excels at, actually. You can kill them, just place the heads on the spikes. Okay. Fair enough. Look, the tree's upside down. Or are we? I'm not sure anymore. Don't think too hard, you might hurt yourself, Atreus, alright? Are we gonna pick it up or what? Come over here, you lazy little bastard. Jesus Christ, what do I pay you for? He's like, you don't pay me. I pay you in wisdom, alright? Fucking idiot child. Alright. 
Yep, just reach your hand into the thing that's probably gonna, like, melt your hand off. You know? You don't just go sticking your hand into pools of white mist. That's dumb. Well, Ever seen Stephen King's The Fog? Got? It's a good way to get yourself Some killed. Sort of travel stone. Let me see. Yeah, let me see with my one eye and no depth perception. Good shit, Mimir. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. It's the stone of unity. He's like, yeah, well, I got that much, dickhead. Explained how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. Oh wait, so if we have the Unity Stone that enables us to travel to different lands, even though Kratos came to Norse mythology from Greek mythology? Yes, that's it. I understand now. Norse shit is even more confusing than it ever was now. Yeah. know how you must never stray from the path. Well, Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. So the thing that we were told to never, ever, ever do, we have to embrace the unknown and just like jump into the void of no return or whatever. All right. Seems totally believable. I am Kratos. And I'm Atreus. And welcome to Jackass. And then he just jumps up the ledge and then like promptly dies. Because you actually weren't supposed to stray from the path. Look at all these dwarves and their stupid like machinery like making shit and we're off like going into the path between realms and like jumping through mythologies and shit. Imagine being that much of a loser. Could you imagine working your whole life to like create a profession and shit that you're proud of just to like have your craft be like short-handed by like this kind of cool shit? We're literally creating history. Great place for a load screen. Totally broke the immersion. Bollocks. This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Scored an alpha key for Scourgebringer, it's pretty sick. I'll look into it later, I'll see what it is. I think I remember you telling me about it. You said it was kinda like Dead Cells, I think. Staunchy, how are you doing, by the way? It's good to see you. What was your first clue, dude? There was no bridge when we walked up to the edge. It was just a void of death, so. Now Kratos is sparkling like David Bowie, so. Oh, never mind, we're fine. Oh, how can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on. That was Ground great. control to Major Look. Tom. The tower! I knew there was something down here. Amazing! Okay, well if you I knew there was something, something down here, why didn't you jump realms? off before? Cast Idiot. It out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tier. Is Jotunheim on the other side? Well, he's obviously not too Vanaheim. clever because we eventually well, figured it out, right? Vanaheim to reach the Midgard peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Oh yeah, this is the realm tower, right? The one that's been missing. I have noticed. Well, Still going pretty in between. I'm sorry to hear that. Still. Hopefully you uh are going better here shortly. I was in a pretty shit place for a while myself, so I totally know how it is. Oh no! It took the stone! The tower. It's absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening! Is it moving? Uh, it's moving! It knows what to Promise do. me you won't break the, the camera with Neo 2, like how you broke your controller with Sekiro? Well, Sekiro was bullshit. Honestly, to be fair, to be fair, to my credit... Okay, I'm just gonna say this one more time, once and for all. The reason I struggle with the stupid Spear Monk in Sekiro is purely because, one, I forgot that stealth existed, so he had two health bars. I completely forgot about stealth. I didn't have any skills, and I was fighting four mobs at the same time. So anybody else, if you were playing a blind playthrough, you would have gotten your ass kicked 15 times harder than I did. And I nearly beat him first try with no gourds, so suck my dick. After that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. Let me see your Sekiro no damage run with your hands tied behind your back, like, getting ass fucked by an elephant, and then I'll fucking give you credit, alright? Until then, I'm completely free of judgment. Even though I did forget about stealth, that was entirely my fault. You'll upload the vid now? Yeah. Lethal will do it. Get my man Lethal in here. Lethal will do it. Oh, I was gonna say you idiots haven't even hit me yet. But I knew that was gonna get me hit, so I didn't say anything. But then the game read my mind, and it hit me anyway. 
Make yourself useful, boy, goddammit. Distract them. Take their attention from me. Although maybe they want a big beefy shirtless man and that's why they're diving themselves and throwing themselves at me over and over and over again, right? Except he can't stand Sekiro? Yeah, for a good reason. Because lethal has taste. Oh shit, burn from soft. Damn. Get wrecked. That sounded safe! What was that? You! Go away, idiot! I've kicked your ass like two or three times throughout this game. I'll kick your ass again, bitch. I don't care how dark you make this room. It's not gonna stop me from beating your ass. See? I told you. Bonk! Dead. Look at that, I parried him even when it's dark in here. I don't give two shits. Where'd you go, bro? Oh, there you are. What? You didn't even come close to hitting me there. Enough of your fucking lies. Right, my little fairy? Come on, dude. This dude's just salty because I kicked his ass throughout the main campaign like five times. He just won't quit. Oh, come on, I did dodge that. Dude, just take your L, dumbass. What you thinking about doing, buddy? Where do you think it's taking us next? I do not know. Yeah, how are you doing, Azura? It's good to see you as well. Oh no! We're back in hell? Oh dear, here they come. Oh no! He says that like it's not me playing as Kratos. Like, I'm literally Kratos. As I'm about to demonstrate. Oh, get tripped, idiot. Wait, did he just parry me? I thought I parried him. Oh yeah, Wrath of Flame. Give me Wrath of Flame. That's why I love Wrath of Flame. Once Wrath of Flame activates, everything around you is basically just melted. Boom. I gotta start using the Shield Slam instead of the, uh, instead of the Bonk all the time. My first reaction is to use the Bonk almost always. Sometimes it's more advantageous to use the Big Slam, though. Especially when you're surrounded by idiots. Alright, where's the big guy? I know there's a big guy in here, I just don't remember where he is. Gotta lurk for a little bit while you do parenting shit, be back in a bit, no problem, man. Again, kids are always top priority. Oh, hey, buddy. You look quite big and angry. Look at that, he's like halfway dead already. Although he is level 4. Oh, it's more than fair, especially because we're about to wreck this big idiot. He's super dead. Alright, Dowdy, whatever your name is, I don't know how to pronounce that. Come get ass fucked. Take out these little idiots first, that way we don't get interrupted. Me being Kratos and then fighting this big troll is like me being Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh, come on, I clearly dodged that, you saw. I did roll. Fucking piece of shit. You think I give a shit about your fire, dude? I don't give two fucks. I have to show you how much I give a shit. Which is literally not at all. They get dicked, idiot. You have cool little fire powers? That's awesome, dude. I'm Kratos. What's up, bitch? Nice, he's dead already. Look at that shit. Easy peasy. Get destroyed. Fucking moron. Red flash means you can't parry. Uh, it means you can't parry and you can't block. 
I'm pretty sure. I think red indicates that it's an unblockable attack. A slash attack that protects Kratos by pushing away all nearby enemies. Well, that's boring. I want all the enemies to throw themselves at me. That way I can, like, murder face them. Alright, good stuff. Come, boy. That's like, what, the 12th troll we've killed? That's just like a normal fucking hobby for Kratos at this point. There's the bridge! We did it! The tower's back where it belongs! Now Tears Travel Room can Kratos has like a Pornhub account where he just like uploads a whole bunch of videos. It's like, oh, big beefy troll gets fucked hard or whatever, and then it's just like Kratos like destroying it with his axe and like striking in the head. Stuff like that. To trust an outsider with it, even Tia tells you just how desperate they were. Damn controller, calm down. And look, now we can finally light all the braziers and see what happens. Uh, nothing. Probably. Another name. Going to Goindel, that's her name? Enough to do this. Could you imagine having a child and naming it Goindel? That's gotta get them bullied in school, mercilessly. Probably not too fair. Poor child. I feel so bad for that thing. Oh yeah, let's go take care of the dragon. That's something that we can do. Because uh, I should have the entry stone for uh, Koinon's guard now, so we should be able to go there, I think. Yeah, but I think Red Flash indicates that an attack is unparryable and unblockable, so it's like either you have to roll to avoid it. Maybe maybe they are parryable, I'm not entirely certain. Oh, I'm sorry, did you hear us? Sorry. I was busy having uh, close relations with the troll. King's Hollow, is that where I'm going? Yeah, Conan's Guard, that's where I'm going. Haven't played this shit? This game is fucking awesome, Azurai, you gotta play this. The old God of Wars are better in my opinion, but everybody likes the way they changed the character and actually gave him depth. And I can appreciate that to a certain degree. The tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. Yes, that's a terrible pity. So maybe when we end up fighting Odin, Odin's gonna use his insane magic and then toss us into a different mythos or something? I have no idea. Because, let, let's face it, Kratos is going to rock the shit out of Odin. I already said it before, Kratos has to have the mightiest beard in the, mythori in the uh, mythology, so... If Kratos have to, has to have the mightiest beard in the mythology, Odin has to go down at some point. Because Odin's definitely going to have a sick Norse beard. Kratos ain't going to let that shit stand. Definitely not. Alright. So, let's go free this dragon, and then we'll go and do some more, like sword stuff, and then we'll do a little bit of Valkyrie stuff. Because I still think I have, like, two more Valkyries that I can fight. <laughs> One of them is in Niflheim, which I did go through a little bit, but I didn't do too much of it. I just got, like, one or two pieces of better armor, so I'd be a little bit better off against the Valkyries, but it doesn't make that much of a difference, I don't think. Valkyries are more about skill rather than gear of what you have. Like, as long as you understand their attacks, you should be alright. Oh, Sex. shit. Okay. Glory to Mozart. Well, it was neither of those things, was it? No! Shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, there we go. That took me a minute. Imagine the most difficult thing in the game being, like, which weapon you want to pull out. Alright. Just a box, really? That's what I get? Are there more enemies? Yeah, there's more enemies. Alright. Yeah, you know what? Somebody should make a mod of God of War where, like, every time you open a new box, you get another kid. So there's just, like, an, an another model of Atreus that pops out, like, every time you open a box. And then by the end of the game, you just have, like, 80 kids on you. That'd be fucking hilarious. Alright, did the box actually give us anything good, or is it just... No, it's bullshit. Arden's Fartelheim Steel. Alright. Cool. Right now what? What kind of evil bullshit am I gonna be dealing with now? Are just more idiot sword dudes? More DS2 enemies? Bring it on, idiot. You're level 6, that's pretty neat. Now you're dead. GG. Dumbass. Idiot. Alright. 
But you thought you were gonna like intimidate the fuck out of me by standing on top of a cliff that I can push you off of? Not really. It's like somebody in Dark Souls PvP and they have like a giant greatsword and they're standing next to a cliff and then you just wrath of the gods them off. Yeah, block this, idiot. Dragon shit is powerful? I lied. Support my powerful. Head is having fun with you. Really, Kratos isn't gonna scold this kid for listening to Mimir, like, say shit, but he's gonna, like, sit there and, like, have a laugh at the joke, or... Right? You guys are all super dead. Oh, except for you. You survived. Somehow, you survived. You were the chosen one. The one who was prophesized. Never mind. You're dead, too. Alright. More evil poison bullshit. That took a while. My axe had to take an uber to get here, huh? Okay. Not even an uber, they had to use like the discount uber. Right. Throw that there. No more deathly poison, alright? Really tired of the poison mechanic. Really gimmicky and really stupid. Yes, punch the brambles, Kratos. We have blades of fire, let's just punch all the wood and all the enemies. Seems totally smart. Kratos would do it. You take that for face value, I'm pretty sure. What's up, dude? Oh what, you got a twin? You think I'm you think I'm scared of you and your twin, dude? I don't give two shits. It's just more of you to murder, dude. I don't give two fucks. Yeah, you shouldn't have fucking backed up your friend, idiot. It's not a tag team, dumbass. Just because there's two of me doesn't mean there should be two of you. 